All right. Welcome to the Soul of San Diego podcast. Um, I'm Andrew. We have Chris and Austin on the podcast today. This is the first podcast that we have in 2024. So welcome, guys. Thank you. Welcome uh, to you, Chris. And it's good to see you, Andrew. Yeah. Haley is out of town, so it's going to be us three. It's a boys podcast that we got going on. We got noise. three high noons. Noise. Yeah. <laughs> noise, yeah. noise. I guess uh, pre- Haley being pregnant, she wouldn't be uh, partake- partaking in the high noons, but uh, mm-hmm. we'll uh, pretend like she's here for sure. Yeah, right. Pour one out, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I love this sound. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Just the crack, right? It's like mm-hmm. the ASMR. You're going to put it right in the mic. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Game on. <laughs> Game on. <laughs> Um, And so it is 2024 now, and we just wanted to kind of talk to you guys a little bit about what we have in the pipeline for 2024. Um, We are not opening a new salon uh, this year. So as in maybe the past, what, three or four years, we've opened two, if not Well, really ever since, uh, you know, COVID kind of changed everything in this world. And then after after that, we've really been... um, focus on some development but moving forward you know for this year we're really gonna focus on the community we have um which you know the party a couple uh couple nights ago made me and i think all of us realize yeah. what a just kick-ass crew of people and community and you know a group of beauty professionals we have um and to really focus on that you know give some salons some love in um you know really uh just be grateful i think uh the last few years for a lot of people have been kind of a crazy couple years and and everybody in their own kind of journeys their own um ways and and you know i think kind of being grateful for for what you got and and you know focus on uh the positive will be great yeah definitely yeah definitely we're gonna be uh, around the salons a lot more and mm-hmm. and uh just showing that love having you know meaningful conversations instead of running around with our heads cut off you know trying right. to get stuff done now you know we can pop in our locations showing some extra love to our you know our community and uh like austin said um that party man it was epic yeah. so and <laughs> we're so grateful and blessed to you know be hanging out with some peeps out you know, our basically like our family so yeah so. definitely and on the agenda is the the solo party so we will recap that but got a few points that we have to make um for our creative space guys we are going to uh try to get in some like a yoga teacher try to do free classes pottery paint and sip always a good time wine and paint you know with your friends um probably a max of around i would say like 10 to 15 kind of depending on the class um how many we can fit here you know with personal space going on but i foresee us really like not only doing like one class here and there, but like doing a series because we have such a Mm -hmm. big community. Like we can't just do one and dones, you know, with 10 and 15 people. And I I do want to mention, I think we'll, we'll dig in, we'll, you know, we'll do it at the creative space at first for kind of central San Diego crew, uh, see how it goes. And then, um, if it does go well, you know, try to find some venue up in North County, Mm -hmm. um, and then maybe out in, you know, Carmel mountain Poway area. Yeah. You know, so we'll start with our uh, with our own space here in, in uh, Bankers Hill yep. and, uh, you know, get some classes going, dig in, see what we can find, see uh, how people are liking it. And then based on that, we could find some other venues that might be more convenient throughout the county. Yeah. Yeah. Have you guys ever done one of those paint and wine? Paint and paint and sips? Paint and uh, sips. No, I no. think I've done it one time. And uh, I mean, they, they do give you quite a bit of wine. So I feel like that paint, that painting that you're drawing really is... Uh, Really looks good. Probably looks end. good. Yeah, it looks yeah. great. Then. Definitely doesn't look awful or next, anything. Next morning, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah I'll, I'll be the one pouring the wine, that's for sure. Yeah. yeah. I'm down for that. Painting. I'm definitely uh, not much know. of a painter. My uh, my father-in-law, he had, uh, once he retired, focused on painting, and he, man, he that's all he talks about. Yeah. He loves it. So maybe I should give it a shot, too. It's good for yeah. the soul, I think. Well, yeah. he, he can join. You know, yeah. you know, <laughs> get him in know. here. Can, can, can he run the class? Teacher, yeah. <laughs> maybe. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. It's him running the class and you pouring the wine. I mean, doesn't sound like a bad night to me. Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. And then with some yoga, I'm looking forward to that. Oh, yeah. 2024, for I think sure. that's probably the best thing that we need to do for mentally wise. Yeah. Get some yoga in here. And H- Haley also, uh, she used to teach yoga. That's right. You know, back in their heyday before COVID hit. Um, but so she has a, a, a good grasp on, you know, around San Diego on who we could hit up to run a yoga class, which 
I agree. It's really good for the mind, body, and soul to do to do yoga for sure. Yeah, we have yeah, we have some professionals that actually do some yoga teaching too. So we could reach out to yeah. everyone. Yeah, I'm down. Yeah, yeah. I've been uh, doing hot yoga for a few years now, kind of off and on. I'll go on my, you know, times where I'm going quite a bit and kind of get off the wagon. But um, I absolutely love it. Um, oh yeah, you know, it's just so relaxing and and um, you know puts you in a good headspace and mm-hmm. it's just a good. It's a good vibe, you know, yeah. hanging out with a bunch of yogis in a oh, yeah. hot room. You know? <laughs> Adding that heat <laughs> element is like, is huge for sure. Yeah, I think that's key. And then that's mm-hmm. why this, the creative space, we have to figure out a way to get a little warmer because it's yeah. on the colder side, but we'll figure yeah. that out. Yeah. yeah, some space heaters in here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> space yeah. heaters, Money. yeah. Yeah. I feel like, I feel like whatever the season is, like the creative space kind of takes hold of the temperature mm-hmm. of, of the, of the season. If it's winter, it's like really cold and chilly in here. But when it's warm, I feel like... I feel like it's pretty warm yeah. so i feel like we could get it done maybe with a few space heaters yeah, yeah space heaters bring some uh goats you know <laughs> have you seen that on yeah, Instagram yeah where yoga. like you are doing yoga and then like goats are like climbing on top of them i've yeah. not seen that you haven't no. seen that yeah it's pretty awesome right <laughs> yeah it's, right. it's a thing. thing it's a thing, it's a thing. Yeah. Right. i think it's yeah i mean it's just healing Right, having a goat on top of you is is very healing while you're in like <laughs> yeah. different poses. I'd agree with that. Yeah. <laughs> Can't be too bad of a mess. Yeah, you know? <laughs> clean it up. Yeah, clean it up a little bit. So that's um, that's kind of what we have going on for 2024, guys. Um, but wanted to jump in and do a little recap of the party because that party was crazy. Yeah. I mean, personally, I've been with Sola for four years now, and that was definitely like the most people I've seen slash the most people dressed up the drunkest everyone was Mm -hmm. just everyone dancing it was it was amazing yeah what was the bar tab on that one austin (laughs) um i don't know double check it's around eleven thousand. perfect that was that was nice that was beer and wine we'll bleep that out (laughs) yeah because back in the back in kind of the quote unquote good old days before we had this big party going but this is you know the good old days but back when we would uh just have these happy hours as we kind of open tab it'd be include liquor and it would just uh, it would get out of control. Uh, one, the bar tab, but two, just the you know, it'd be some you know husband of somebody you know ordering twenty five shots of Patron, walking around, handing them out, spilling them around, and right. you know, he realized that uh, he kind of got to keep that under wraps a little bit. So, so the beer and wine, but having booze, liquor options, you know, for everybody is is the perfect. Yeah. But oh, yeah, yeah. But, but ten, eleven, twelve thousand bucks in beer and wine is. Uh, Solid tab. That's but, a, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I agree with the so Andrew is. Fun. I mean, I think it was the highest turnout I've ever had, around 350 people. Um, what was really fun, too, is, you know, how many people stayed to the end. And that's just yeah. a big shout out to the band, um, you know, and people really digging on the whole mm-hmm. vibe that they had. Yeah, keeping them engaged. Yeah. And if you're, um, you know, if you're decked out and we're in the 90s, might as well stay till the party ends. But once it did end, we had the, the, the security there had to kind of... <laughs> push people out you know because people want to stay and not oh, yeah. not go home yeah that's oppo- opposed to me who i did not stay to the end which uh do have a little bit of a story um i kind of did an irish goodbye to everyone didn't say goodbye to a single soul i uh, hopped in my uber and headed back down i live down in otai ranch so it is kind of a far drive but last time i was at a sola outing uh, i was at our holiday dinner that we have as a team and we were up in North County and uh, you know, my wife, she's a NICU nurse. She was at the hospital dealing with the little babies and then has to come my, pick my baby ass up. <laughs> <laughs> Basically one of the babies out there, you know? Yeah. Um, and I was absolutely a zombie in the front seat. I think everyone can relate to that where they have been into a situation where they're like, this car ride sucks Mm -hmm. (laughs) and i was in that same boat and i think it was worse for her and so i just did not want to stay because i i just i had tunnel vision i knew with i'm gonna shout out rochelle you know i'm gonna shout out joe Mm -hmm. who who was ordering shots and stuff and i was participating but if i had one more shot i would have been that zombie mode and i think i hit that perfect limit and i was like i gotta be out yeah if i start saying bye People are going to be like, no, come do shots. And I'm going to be like, I'll, yeah. I'm a peer pressure guy. I, I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm, uh, I'll go do shots. I don't yeah. care. Yeah, the Irish goodbye. I mean, that's usually the, <laughs> like, okay, this has to this has to happen. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, I mean, I felt like I was a zombie for the whole night. 
<laughs> and then throw, uh, throwing in some like shots left and right. I mean, I, I, I can't remember how many shots I had. And my wife was helping me out with some of them and she can't remember how, she, how much she had. So <laughs> you, were, just, you were saying she was being a team player, oh, right? Yeah, she yeah. was being she, a... She came in like a Superman, like, I got you. And then she's like, hey, this needs to stop. I was like, yeah, this happens every year. <laughs> yeah, you're, you know, I mean, I, I'm trying not to black out. <laughs> I mean, she knows at this point. She's oh, been yeah. to how many holiday parties, you know? Yeah. It happens, yeah, right? It I mean, does, it does happen. I know, I just... Uh, you know, like I said earlier, just such a good crew. I've just loved being part of this industry for so long that uh, it reminds you how much you love it when you go, you know, let people just tie one on, have a good time, let loose, yeah. get dressed up, listen to music, and, and, you know, just enjoy each other's company. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah, seriously. Lake Murray, I remember a couple of those professionals, because Lake Murray's, you know, one of our newest locations, and, um, you know, seeing their face when they're like, hey, we made it. Wow, like their experience that they're having. Pro, I don't know if they've ever had it, you know, at their previous salons. Yeah. But when you know we give them the keys for the door for their studio, and they're just loving it. And now you throw a party, a kick-ass party like that. They're like, man, this is the best decision ever. Oh yeah. And it was like you, that's where you really see the moment. Like, okay, this is this is pretty cool. This is yeah. Yeah, their lives are changing right in front of us, and it's for you know, yeah, it's for the best, you know. I mean, that attendance for Lake Murray under a hundred, just a hundred under a hundred percent. Yeah, it was crazy. I think there was literally like one or two people that were not there, mm-hmm. and like that's, I mean, saying something. I mean, yeah, we won't mention any it. names, but yeah, yeah, yeah but no, 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 yeah. of course not. Yeah, <laughs> rent is not going up, but yeah, yeah, I know I was threatening a lot of people about that, but no, no, <laughs> rent is not going up. But yeah, Lake Murray came out, so Park Valley and Claremont as well, for sure. Uh, they had a really good showing but yeah oh, yeah yeah it's definitely a huge huge turnout and there's a lot of folks i hadn't seen in a while you know so that makes it even more fun oh yeah most definitely and and talking about that giveaway that we did with the with the, <laughs> with the dress up i mean people came to win i mean it was cutthroat people wanted to to win they were dressed as 90s icons mm-hmm. uh we had uh, peggy bundy there who, who took it home, took well, on the, the press, though, she was not chosen to be on on the stage. No. But she no. said, uh, bullshit, I'm getting on the stage and I'm going <laughs> right. to win this thing. And sure <laughs> enough, she did it. Yeah, the band picked three, Shout I think, couples, which it wasn't originally a couples contest. No. It was, um, it was just like a, a, a dress up contest. And they picked three couples and then the crowd just like turned on the band i don't know if you guys saw that like the crowd was like boo they were booing the crap out of them and they were like they were like pick her and then she just jumped up on her own Mm -hmm. and like kind of stole the show i mean what can you do i feel like i lost the the control was slipping but there was never really there you know what i mean yeah the band yeah i was laughing (laughs) with the the band guys and they're like man this is this is crazy this is just uh you gotta roll with it but yeah gotta roll with it melissa yeah it's just uh you know, owned it. And, and then when she won that $2,000 staycation, she gave it to her friend that she had literally met that night. Yeah, was it a, Desiree, Desiree in Desiree. Bastion Valley. Yeah. I felt like I was Shout in a fever Desiree. dream. I felt like I was in a fucking fever dream. I don't even, sorry, excuse my language, but like, <laughs> I was like, how many twists and turns could do, can we have? This yeah. is crazy. And she gives it to Desiree in Fashion Valley. And we were like, I was, I was shocked. I don't know. That yeah. was the craziest thing I've ever said. I was like, First yeah. of all, she just jumps on stage, nominates herself, and then wins it, gives it to someone else. I'm like, this is just entertainment. Yeah. This is great. Yeah, I know. I thought she was just joking at first. I was like, do you just give that to her? She's like, yeah. I'm like, are you good friends with her? She's like, I just met her tonight. <laughs> <laughs> just met tonight, right? Yeah. Um, oh, well, that's cool. Yeah. That's and about I, I think Desiree vibes. is engaged to be married. Mm-hmm. And so, and I think they're getting married like very close to the dates that they've hit me up about. To go do the she staycation. Already, she already hit you up. She hit me up. It. And okay. she's like, I get married, I think that weekend or the, the weekend before, I was like, I mean, this is perfect, perfect. Let's yeah. just do it. Um, I didn't know so that. When so is awesome. that? Is that coming up soon? That's February, yeah. Somewhere oh, wow. in February, like in late February. Yeah. Wow, okay. Yeah, it's coming up. Um, and then uh, going play by play, I mean, we step back off the stage into the backstage. And Melissa's like, "Hey, come come do a shot with me," and takes a video. And there's a there's a crazy there's a cool video online just us like shooting a shot of JMO with her. Mm-hmm. And like, I mean, she's just her costume was to the T, and she not only dressed the part but she acted the part. Yeah, she did. Yeah, that was crazy. I so never even did, uh, so I need did to see Christina clips of and uh, and her husband from. Yes. Yeah, they had that. You know, Pam Anderson. Yep. And, and Tommy, Tommy Lee, Lee. Yep. kind of that famous, where she kind of that furry bucket hat and yep. he had the trench coat which you know 
apparently I would not wear anything underneath, and that was sort of a famous, uh, <laughs> famous outfit, I believe. Yeah, I saw him doing the like opening of the trench yeah, coat, exactly. like behind. The, like, was that a thing? Like, I don't even. I believe so. It's been a while, but yes, I believe that's kind of part of the thing. Is that he, he was, was like, kind he was of naked under sort of yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then, um, and then Meg, uh, Megan, and Jeff Wallace, you know, being that um, Brittany and Justin Timberlake, um, yeah, that denim outfit was pretty solid. That yeah. was legit. That mm-hmm. was legit. And then you had Susie Snow and her husband, which Susie has been with us for what? What, 15, 16 years at our yeah. Mission Valley location, she showed. Um, what were they dressed as again? That was Kurt Cobain and uh, his widow, uh, Courtney Love. And so they <laughs> wow. were, uh, you know, they kind of played the scene well because they, you know, they did on purpose. But back in those days, you know, before Kurt Cobain died, you know, they were kind of, you know, in a loving way, a hot mess, right? And yeah. I think they kind of, they kind of acted the part too on purpose, you know, just being kind of really owning the owning you know who they were being but yeah there's a i don't know if if it was at a uh, some sort of event or something but kurt cobain had these kind of more feminine kind of oval style glasses Mm -hmm. with uh with a kind of snow hat yeah that's what uh that's what he was wearing yeah yeah and then she had a cigarette yeah she had a cigarette yeah and then melissa takes Susie's cigarette smokes it throws it in the in the crowd and then kisses Susie. <laughs> and meanwhile, they're from awesome. totally different like walks of salon worlds. You know yeah. what I mean? Like yeah, South Carlsbad and Mission Valley. And Mission Valley. They just, just met that night too. Yeah, just I met assume. that night. Yeah. And I was like, "Is this all a play? What is going on here?" Yeah. Did they rehearse this? This, this has seemed like a rehearse. Money. This is yeah. so entertaining. This you is know? money. Yeah. 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 Go uh, to, yeah, going I was to the just other location. Full on mind blown emoji like the whole night. I was like, "Wow, this is crazy." Yeah. Fuck. Going to the other locations after the party, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, you know, Andrea and uh, Kurti Mesa. She was like, "Yeah, the, that that." professional that was in uh or the, the red hair i was like oh yeah that's melissa she's like she was so entertaining i want to be like friends with her she yeah was, like showing her like her instagram and everything so, yeah yeah next year you got to be there <laughs> oh definitely yep it's one night where like all of our professionals can uh, can connect um even though they're from you know you could be from oceanside all the way down to otai ranch you could you know connect with someone on mm-hmm. on a cool level which which is always awesome about the party, you know? Yeah, yeah, and I'm always recommending that our soul professionals, if they're gonna do like a dry, you know, January to start the year, <laughs> they should hold off until like dry February. <laughs> Have February. you ever actually seen, I saw something on uh, Instagram, but it's like a thing about dry, dry January, you can borrow days from other months. So if you say, okay, <laughs> right? So, <laughs> so, you know, I, I'm gonna go to the solo, I'm doing dry January, but I'm gonna go to the solo party on January 14th, but I'm gonna drink. Mm-hmm. Then I'm going to take like a random Tuesday out of February and yeah. not drink to basically make up <laughs> make for the day I drank during January. That's perfect. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> just pick Sorry, like a random. Days. Just pick yeah. like pick like the most boring like Monday in March. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you put it on your uh, Apple calendar, and you're like, I cannot drink today. I've used this day. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. I, yeah, I've I've heard of kind it. of dry January, but not like that. Like kind of dry January is like I've had two high noons. And that's it, you know? Yeah. And it's always just like a shtick. But yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I feel like it's becoming like more of a thing. You know, even bars are like, you know, embracing it. We're like, okay, just dry gin and dry whiskey <laughs> and everything. You know? yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah. Dry, yeah. dry martinis. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Dry vermouth. Yeah. 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 And dry martini. Yeah. So, but it's, um, yeah, it's definitely more of a thing. It's, I think, you know, just in general, people are kind of boozing more since COVID. Mm-hmm. I think that's kind of a, oh, yeah, a fact. Sure. <laughs> if I had to guess, you know, so now it's like, ah, I'm partying all the holidays, you know, call it Halloween till New Year's. Oh, yeah. And so I'm going to take it easy for, uh, for a month. But, you know, you got to borrow those days to keep yourself sane. Yeah, exactly. Oh, definitely. At least sane. borrow one, like, night. You know what I mean? If you're doing dry January, borrow one night mm-hmm. at a like in a random day, like I was saying, like a boring day, mm-hmm. and just use it for the solo party. I think that's a play. Yeah, I mean, if you're gonna party at the solo party, then you definitely have to have like what Austin says, like a little parachute the next day. You mm-hmm. know, so mm-hmm. you know, so maybe take two. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so two okay. days. Yeah, that yeah. that seems appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> Drink enough in one night for two days. I've Perfect. never heard that uh, the parachute term until like I met you. I like always heard like hair of the dog. You know, there's all these sort of like sayings, but like a yeah. parachute is like 
Because hair of the dog doesn't make any sense in my brain. Yeah, I, mean, I know. There's got to be it. obviously a reason or <laughs> where you know what that is from. Or it's got to be. Right? But a parachute it's makes probably from more the forties, right? Something. You know, <laughs> you go out yeah. partying. You, you know, you're on a party weekend, or you know, tie one on a little too much, and then you know you can. You know, if you don't drink it all the next day, don't even have a beer or a mimosa or whatever, you know, then, man, you can just hit a brick wall. But, uh, you know, having a mimosa or a bloody light Mary. beer yeah, too, yeah, a yeah. Bloody Mary, you know, kind of is that parachute that lets you land a little softer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But on the flip side, if you have, instead of one Bloody Mary, you have a few Bloody Marys. Mm. Next thing you know, you got your buzz on again. Then all you're doing is delaying the inevitable to the next day. So mm. there's that fine line in between yeah. that parachute to land softly, or if you go for it too much because you're out with some friends, you know, on a weekend doing whatever, you're just still you, tying it off. Then you're aren't back you? one, you know, you're back up again that you're going to have to you know, either hit the ground hard or parachute the next day. I feel like they call that the infinite parachute. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> control. It's just out of just out of control. Yeah. If you ain't out of control, you ain't in control. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I like that. One. Yeah. Well, that's a good one. Um, what um, one thing I was excited about is um, up on stage announced Haley's having a baby yep. Uh, yep. here in May. Uh, you know, Haley's such an awesome, important part of our team, and and you know, I wanted to check with her obviously before, and she said, "Hell yeah, I'll definitely announce it." So. Oh, Congrats to crazy. Haley and, yeah. and Drake, her uh, her boyfriend. That um, you know, they got a little little one coming. And I forget, does she say a boy or a girl? It's boy. It's boy. a boy. Boy gang. Wow. No girl gang. Yeah, it's a girl. Cut that out. It's girl yeah, gang. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I, I don't feel out. bad that I forgot or I didn't realize. But, <laughs> but uh, hopefully, uh, I was so convinced Haley in my mind. I was like, it's a boy. You sound pretty confident. I was so that. confident saying that, and I immediately <laughs> said it out loud, and I was like, it's definitely a girl. I don't know why I said that. So yeah, congrats to them. That was amazing, and the, yeah. we announced it at the party, and just crowd went wild. A lot of support, a lot of love. Um, I think she's due in May. Is that what you said? Mm-hmm. Early to mid May. Yeah. yeah. So we got a few months. Yeah. 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 It'll, yeah. Be, a, it'll be exciting. Excited Always for it. Yeah. This is the first time we've had uh, you know, somebody working with us, except for myself mm-hmm. uh, and Jeremy, but somebody that's uh, worked with us that um, you know have a baby on the way. So it's a new uh, new uncharted waters, and we're excited. Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited for her and Drake. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. Be great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Seems like Drake was taking it easy. I'm sure Haley was like, "Hey, why don't you, you know, because I can't be drinking. Why don't you take it easy? Why don't you take it easy. <laughs> yeah, this is the wrong time." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this actually reminds me. So this was 2019. Uh, Lisa, my wife, was like eight, eight and a half months pregnant mm-hmm. with our son Braxton, and uh, it was an 80s theme. And she, you know, much respect and love to her, went all out with like fishnet, neon stockings, you know gloves you know the whole outfit yeah and uh, one of our beauty pros i might have mentioned this earlier on the mm. podcast one of our beauty pros had a bottle of champagne i don't know if she was a full bottle of one of those little mini ones to get there but she stood up on a chair and shook it up and spraying people down <laughs> and sprayed lisa just all over you know so she's i mean just huge i mean and you know we have both our kids were very big so you know lisa had pretty big belly going mm-hmm. and next thing you know she's just getting hosed down by champagne, was that champagne? Yeah. by one of our uh, by one of our stylists you know and <laughs> she she rolled with it you know laughed it off but um it was definitely uh you know something to not forget when you're that's an mom. all-time story because yeah he was born february 4th and our parties are always mid-january so yeah. it was like three weeks before he's born yeah he got a little Taste, taste in the womb. A little taste in the champagne. <laughs> taste in the champagne. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure Lisa missed that taste too. Yeah, right. Yeah. Lisa was like, she might have had a little taste. Yeah, 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 yeah. They say, you know, by that point, it's okay to have a drink every once in a while. You know, For sure. it might even speed up from what I've been told the, uh, you know, the um, contraction to get the get the ball rolling. Oh, there you go. I've heard that. That might be a, <laughs> might be a myth. Urban myth. <laughs> Made up by people who just want yeah, to have yeah. a drink. Yeah, right. Exactly. Any excuse. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> totally. Yeah. Well, awesome, guys. Uh, do you have any... I feel like... I feel like we need to go through, like, favorite songs before we go off. Like, favorite 90 songs that we maybe heard that la- that night or that, that favorite song that you hear from the 90s that just makes you, like want to like throw down on the dance floor just go crazy uh, the names of the songs are a little blurry but blink 182 oh my god blink 182 that was a good song yeah uh, they played a couple uh the are they 90s i think so yeah from <laughs> so. uh from poway 
Really? That's where Blink-182 is from. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I yeah. think one They're of the from guys, Powell? Travis Barker, came down from L.A. but joined the two other guys that are from Poway. I think went to Poway High. Wow. Yeah. The more you know, that's crazy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's weird how, you, how much you don't know about the 90s, right? You know, I know. You know, you until you hear that song, there. you're like, oh, this is, yeah. yeah. I remember like, you know, playing uh, Spotify in my truck, mm -hmm. you know, I'm like, oh, this was in the 90s, but it was all like rap music. <laughs> we didn't yeah. have much rap music out yeah. uh, you know, the ballet, but yeah. Yeah, I know. But it's, uh, yeah, it, uh, Blink-182 is a classic. And my wife is dressed up as Gwen Stefani, so she's pumped mm. when played spider webs and then didn't no doubt get back together for they're getting back together for coachella the gwen oh, stefani I didn't know that. Okay. they're getting back together That's awesome. oh. and it some say it might be because of the belly up doing the 90s <laughs> you know i mean yeah, it came out like, i think the next day so yeah. it's probably our yeah. professionals that yeah. kind of spread the word spread quick. the word yeah. so, someone probably <laughs> went got live got yeah. right 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 <laughs> I always go with the class. So you go with Gwen Stefani. I think I go with um, the Notorious B.I.G. I feel like I go with like Juicy, mm -hmm. you know, from him and, you know, that sort of like those old 90s rap songs are always like crazy. But there's always like there's so many one hit wonders, too, in the 90s. So it's, true. it's, yeah. it's hard to pick yeah. one. And a lot of my I know the songs well, but don't know who sings who, them. Who sings them? Yeah. Since they're one hit wonders. You would have to yeah. like hear them and then just, yeah, go wild and Bust out the Shazam, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Austin, your outfit, though. I remember seeing yeah. you for the first time. I'm like, man, that is a big... Oh, that's Austin right there. He was like rocking the hair and everything, <laughs> yeah, too. You had a dial when you were putting it behind your ears. and everything. Right. It's a good back on him. Yeah, that was tough keeping it out of my uh, out of my face, for sure. But a little Eddie Vedder grunge look, you know, yeah. from the Seattle mid to late 90s. Mm, yeah. So I just will never forget in eighth, eighth grade-ish, you know, as kids started taking up, you know, picking up the grunge style. It just was everywhere. Yeah. Definitely a part of my childhood. And then what were, what were you dressed as? Like uh, a... Run DMC. Run DMC. Like the big chain that nice. my, all my jewelry la like came in like an hour or two right before the party. So thank goodness <laughs> uh -huh. it did. From Amazon. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I had to tell Kelly to put in a good word. You yeah. Know? It was so, perfect. It's perfect. Well, yeah. yeah. It was awesome. That was awesome. I uh, I went as just jean shorts. So if you uh, didn't see, like I had an... Well, I did have a 90s like kind of the color pattern shirt but like mainly the outfit was jean shorts yeah i don't think i've ever worn jean shorts before they were pretty comfy yeah i will say that hey you definitely look comfy don't overlook jean yeah. shorts no i might bring them back dude you, you should we well, got a pair now yeah they're in the dumpster it's like, a, <laughs> it's like the incredible hulk look right yeah right right exactly <laughs> cut them off a little on the end yeah exactly mm -hmm. Well, thanks, guys, for coming on. Thank you. Um, appreciate you guys. And as always, guys, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe on YouTube and hit that like on Spotify. Start to follow our podcast. We have like maybe six podcasts scheduled in the next three months. So kind of double time right now in the beginning of 2024. Um, so look for those and uh, we will see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Awesome. Thanks, Bro Thank you.